Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Quasi Dupla Ooze. So just a few days ago, we played this deck and it was a ton of fun, had a lot of really good games and everything and uh, won five quick matches with it. So let's run it back and try it again. Uh, basically, the point of our deck is our, our two main cards. So we have Quasi Duplicates and Biogenic Ooze. That's what we're trying to do. We're, we want Biogenic Ooze in play and then we want to start copying them and making more biogenic oozes and just going crazy with a ton of oozes and uh you know getting a ton of counters on all of them and stuff like that so that's it's kind of like what our the whole point of our deck like what we're doing but besides that the rest of the deck is just solid like we have the explore package which you know we know it is very good we got some early mana with land War elf and incubation druid uh we have a bunch of Vivians and Hydroid Crisis at the at the top end, you know, similar to like what Sultai has there, and then uh, we even have Hadana's Climb to end some games pretty quickly, and we have some Dive Downs to protect our creatures. Dive Downs been pretty uh, important for us in this deck as well of uh, keeping like a Wild Growth Walker alive against a Lightning Strike against Mono Red or, you know, keeping Biogenic Ooze alive so that we do get to quasi-duplicate it and so on. Uh, besides that, I actually like our, our sideboard too. All five of these cards in our sideboard are really, uh, really nice and impactful. And, uh, you know, definitely love Crowl Harpooner against Mono Blue and Drakes. Negate and Frilled Mystic are awesome against, like, Control Decks, uh, where we need to bring in some counter spells. We got those Crushing Canopies for Mono Blue, Drakes, and uh, for uh, Wilderness Reclamation decks as well. And we got those melodies for the other creature decks. So I like our 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 sideboard here. Uh, it's, you know, just the the full boat of threes. And let's go. Let's see if this works out as well as it did last time. Hey, Moo Moo. So shade, no, probably not. I don't, I don't. I'm not really planning on doing the whole big, big event thing. Uh, so yeah, it's, that's my style is just to be an online player here with uh, streaming and everything, streaming YouTube videos, all that kind of stuff. Can't really keep the one lander, unfortunately. So let's go to six. All right, doable. I've been enjoying these blue-green decks recently. This is a tough card. I want more lands, but if I keep this on top, we could just draw a whole lot of lands and not draw any action. If I don't, they could like kill my Incubation Druid and then I don't have mana. I'm going to keep it on top. Highland Lake. I got one of a budget mana base. I think I'm going to wait a turn before I drew it. Doesn't seem like we should be in any hurry here. So waiting a turn allows me to drew it plus protect it. Nice. Matthew went 4 2 with Duple Ooze a little bit ago. That's a good record. So they could certainly have another removal spell here, but at least we ate up two removal spells. You know, at least the dive down did its job. It traded with the removal spell. Because otherwise the dive down just, you know, sits in your hand and does nothing. So I could crease this for two, but two is just not very many. Remember how I, I talked about how, like, the worst case scenario would be just drawing a bunch of lands after keeping that land on top? That is what happened, but thankfully for us, our opponent's not doing anything. All right, so we're going to Crisis for four here, so we get Divination Crisis. And then it's harder for my opponents to kill a Divination Crisis. Yeah, Syncopate's fine. Uh, no, take your time. I won't be. Take 
So looking for more Vivian's Krasis, Ooze, all that kind of stuff. Um... Guess I protect that to try to quasi duplicate it. And that's a card that we want to find. Vivian Reed. That's a good one. So our opponent's just playing Mono Removal. <laughs> Maybe they, maybe they don't even have any way to win. Who knows? So I want to do this before attack with Balance the Land War Elf in comes. case we draw something that costs four. I don't. I guess there's not really anything that costs four, but oh well. All right, so definitely taking the Biogenic Ooze, of course, because I mean that's what our deck's about. We're oozing and duplicating. We're quasi dupla ooze. We're not quasi dupla Jade Light Ranger. You can't stop nature. Thing is, we probably should just play the 8 day crisis though first. So we didn't get to ooze and duplicate, but. With how many instant speed burn spells we saw them have, it's just pretty likely that we play ooze and then they shock my ooze before, like in response to the duplicate. So yeah, we don't really know what's going on with our opponent's deck. Like, are they going to be maybe Niv, maybe Niv Mizzet? Certainly seem like they could just be a Drake deck. That that'd be the most likely thing is they're Drakes. That's the most likely thing. So against Drakes, what do we want to do? We probably want to get in our Harpooner and Canopy. Ooh, y'all are thinking it's Thousand Year Storm? I guess that's that could be a thing. Canopy is good against Thousand Year Storm and Drakes. I mean, honestly, all 15 of our cyborg cards could be useful. You know, like this is this could certainly be useful countering a Crackling Drake. Like this is obviously going to fight stuff. This could counter whatever. Trancing Melody could take a Drake. This kind of matchup, matchups with a lot of instant speed removal is not really where you want quasi duplicate. So I'm going to take those out. And yeah, y'all are saying the Thousand Year Storm is pretty likely. So let's get this negate in. I don't think we need Hadana's Climb against the removal heavy deck either. So we'll take that out for a negate. And I'm bringing in Negates basically instead of Harpooners because it's kind of likely that they're playing Thousand Year Storm. If, if we knew for sure they were Drakes, I think I'd rather have Harpooners. But I kind of agree with, with y'all. For what we saw, um, just like Blue-Red Control, not Drakes. You know, could be a la Thousand Year Storm or not. Looks pretty likely. I do not use any deck tracker for Arena. Let's get this mana out here. If our opponent's going to instant speed removal... Obviously, Shock kills Druid where Shock doesn't kill Wild Growth Walker. Okay, it is Drake. I'm 
Not really in a rush to play the Jade Light Ranger yet. Hmm. Should play the land because we because it's syncopate. Should just play that land first. So I haven't used the Arena Pro deck tracker at all. Would it, does it like, like basically would that be something that y'all would really like for the stream in order to like, you know, obviously I have like the stream decker that has all the deck lists and everything, but does it keep like the stats automatically on there? And so on, like would that be Basically, is that something that I should look into? I don't think I would be... I don't know if I would necessarily, like, import all the results myself. Like, if I have to... If I do need to import the results myself. You know, like, just while streaming and everything, I'm doing... Other stuff all the time. I am really glad Dive Down 8 Negate, by the way. I will take that. Dive Down 8 Negate. Sometimes restoration means retribution. I could have, so you get chat in the YouTube videos, I could have, good job Mr. Adrian, could have chat like on the side, it would basically be like where I have this other stuff, is like where chat would Not be. Not again! The pro, the big problem, well, problems are twofold. One from just like, most of the... The feedback we've gotten is that they don't, that for the most part people think the chat takes up, to to you. Uh, or like, basically doesn't like the chat on the screen also, during like the stream and, uh, and everything less, you know, like less battlefield room because of chat kind of thing, but I know that people with the YouTube video would like it. That's, that's where I've kind of... That's that's where I'm falling right now. That's not worth it. The other thing is I I do have a good amount of trolls, and having the chat on the screen just makes people want would want to troll more to just throw up, you know, whatever messages that you know get deleted and everything. But they're up there for a little bit, and that's just a a real headache that I don't want to deal with. And that's the biggest reason why I don't want to deal with it. Things flat perspective, that's that's how I want to keep it. I want to keep chat clean and productive. This this hand doesn't really do anything, but I, I don't think I want to mulligan it. I think I just I think I'm just gonna keep the the good amount of lands here. You know we have basically so much of our deck are low drops that we could be drawing into. And at the very worst I have a cycle crisis on turn four. Hey, Zerlik, like, yeah, this deck is fun. I, I, I really enjoy this deck. All right, another Drake deck. This one looks to be a little more mainstream. I don't think I really need to worry about this getting lava coiled considering we don't have any explore creatures. So I don't I don't think I need to wait a turn and have dive down protection for it.
Yeah, Dang says the good solution is to read the relevant messages so that people know what you're responding to in YouTube, and that's that's been what I've been trying to do. I try to read the questions that I'm responding to. All right, so double shock from our opponent. And I'm I'm definitely willing just to throw out the crisis as a 2-2 next turn. If we have nothing better to do, which we do not. Likely play next turn will be Branch Walker. Okay. So much for the deck being mainstream, so that's gives them four spells, so if I block the Terramander, they can adapt it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That does at least use their turn to adapt that. So I have to kill them in three turns. That'll be tough to do if we don't draw another Wild Growth Walker. Next turn we have double duplicate on this ooze. Hopefully. So they hit me for hit me for five. I double duplicate. They hit me for five. I attack for lethal. I think that's possible. What? Oh, that's why. I was like, what? Like, how are they not killing the correct thing? All right, so this. Oops. So we need to find Vivian. That's not really finding Vivian. Or Wild Growth Walker. It's a really good one drop here. This card during the set preview. Uh, definitely talked about Terramander. Saying that this is a card that will kill me plenty throughout the standard season. And it definitely has been. Definitely just kills me all the time. I don't think that they're a Phoenix deck. It's certainly possible that they are, but you don't... I think it's... Um, not likely to see Phoenix and... Drake together. The Salamander Drake. Together. So, again, a deck with a lot of removal. We take out Quasi-Duplicate. Biogenic Ooze also just isn't that important against Drakes. These flying creatures. And I'm liking Melody against that one drop. This is a lot less creatures. I should probably just take out Climb. Even though Climb is really good at, you know, if it flips, it can be quite good. Fantasy Draft went really well. So... Yeah, we'll go with this. <clears throat> yeah, quasi duplet Ooze without the Quasi and the Ooze. I know, Mono Blue and Drake's, like, these, these matchups that they're aggressive with a bunch of Flyers. They're just not really the matchups for quasi duplicate or Ooze, which is unfortunate. But yeah, these are the, these are the ones that I'm uh, sideboarding them out in. So yeah, Fantasy Draft went really well. I like my team, so I'm in a six by six roto, where usually standard is five by five, but it's, I had, our league adds on base percentage and holds. 
And so I used a, a custom fantasy baseball draft rankings website, you know, like basically where they, uh, you know, like they, you put in like your, uh, your league rules and they like kind of update like the player rankings to be ones that are, are good for your league rules kind of thing. And with that evaluation set, I absolutely killed it. This, uh, this draft, I was getting so much value on my picks. Like, you know, even like the pick, like in my picks in like the mid hundreds and, oh, whoops. Yeah, I definitely wanted to attack there. Mid hundreds, early, like even the mid two hundreds. I was getting people that were valued much, much higher. Like, you know, my, my, like the 250th overall pick, I was taking people that were ranked like 80th according to our ratings. But the big problem is, the big problem with that is I think my, my team's really good for like the on base stuff, but not, not very good in a lot of other categories or like a couple other categories, like Hitting, I have basically no steals, so I'm going to be just like last in steals. And hopefully I'm good in all the other categories, like home run. You know, the other ones are home runs, RBIs, runs, batting average, and on-base percentage. I have a lot of great on-base percentage people. I should be first in on-base percentage, but then last in steals because of it. And pitching... My starting pitching is pretty bad. I have a lot of good relievers because withholds. Then my relievers were, um, they were valued a lot higher. The problem is my starting pitching is kind of bad, so I'm really worried about like my Ks and wins. But my ratios and holds and saves should be good. So basically, we'll see. I'm kind of already punting a few categories, and I'm a little worried about that. So there's, uh, it was a 13 team league with friends from, from back home. Hey, Magic Harry, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub for the fourth month in a row here. And I had the 13th pick, of course. <laughs> yeah, Clue King, baseball is my sport. It's my favorite sport. All right, our opponent is electro dominancing us. No, don't tap my incubation druid. Things are going pretty good today. We didn't do as well with uh, Grixis Discard. I uh, lost a couple of 50-50-ish matchups. Lost to a Sultai and a Mirror match kind of thing. So the categories, that uh, there are six, offenses, six offensive categories and six pitching categories. And, and so you're, you're rated like one, you get one point if you're last in a category, 13 points if you're first in a category. And then, you know, that's how the standings are. And so I'm worried that, like, my stolen bases are already, are probably going to be one. You know, like, I'll probably only get one point for stolen bases, but ho hopefully get some other 13 pointers for it. Four, five, six, seven. Definitely wish this was eight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Z. Wait, we can do we can do ten. Incubation druid. Sweet. 
Yeah. Now remember when I didn't attack my opponent for three earlier? That's not looking the best. <laughs> Our opponent could be at three right now. <laughs> Yeah, Kenny, dude, some, some other things came up this afternoon that I had to take care of, so I wasn't able to get on on uh, Twitch earlier uh, than normal. I had to take care of some other business. So, yeah, that was the, the plan was to do the 12-hour stream today, but unfortunately didn't get to. So I could do it tomorrow, but so what I have here on the on the, the stream, so talking about and thinking about it, I think we're going to do it on, on Wednesday instead of tomorrow because Wednesday we're going to have the updates with the cosmetic changes or like where you can you know get cosmetic stuff and so I wanted to to do so I'm gonna wait till Wednesday for that then so we can get some cool cosmetic things all right so let's no stop yeah we can just win with trample here would you like to see what's left? <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> Always out of tapping with Druid. I'm glad my opponent did not see any melodies. Yeah. Well, that's only game two. Match isn't even over yet. But yeah, it's been, it's been two good games so far. I milled one. Tilt. Like I said the first time, my opponent only saw one melody. <laughs> so I said the first time. Lelana War. Ugh. Turn three Vivian, maybe? Hey, Zibaj. Yeah, the aggro decks in the air. This and mono blue. Um, are where... Our two decks namesake cards are not as valuable. No, not doing the 12-hour stream today. Wasn't able to get on early enough. Had other things come up that I had to take care of. So just, uh, we we're actually just talking about that. Uh, so I'm pushing it, pushing it back to Wednesday. Uh, for after cosmetics come out, and we'll we'll get some cosmetic stuff. I have eleven thousand gems here on the account that I can spend towards the cosmetic items. Well, that was my whole plan. That was all I had. Whoa, they're Phoenix also? So they have Phoenix and both Drakes and Terramander. What is going on? Any cosmetics you're especially looking forward to? Uh, I don't. I don't know yet. Every problem I, has a solution. I guess probably Let's the like. I want to see like how the cards look and everything. Even with eleven thousand gems, which is so many gems, I st still can't get very many cards. Which is pretty sad. Oh, this game's just over.
Hmm. Uh, let's see. Decisions, decisions. Ty, do you think Reclamation will have to be banned if the London Mulligan rule goes into effect? No. I don't think so. I would like it to get banned, but I don't think it'll have to get, have to be banned. That's a uh, that's pretty strong. But I don't I don't expect Wilderness Reclamation to be banned at all in its lifetime. Yeah, the Huatli Avatar too. So yeah, I'm going to get the Huatli Avatar and the Angrath Avatar. Definitely going to get both of those. I don't know about any of the sleeves. Because see, like, so basically I can spend all 11,000 of these gems. Because I can save the gold, you know, like 34,000 gold each, with each pack being 1,000. You know, if I, that's like, you know, 30 packs plus. Uh, and I have an, a whole nother month of playing before the next set comes out. So that's a lot of packs already. And, you know, like that just gain, you know, you just gain gold every single day with this. And as you can tell, I have 21 mythic wild cards and 46 rare wild cards already. So I don't have to worry about saving the gems for the next set. I'm going to have like all the cards for the next set and, you know, probably sets like that for a while. So basically, I'm willing to spend all of the gems I. I have and gems that I get on cosmetic stuff to make the stream more aesthetically pleasing for y'all. I know the avatars are gold. You can get the avatars with 3,000 gold. So I can get both the Huatli and the Angrath avatar with 6,000 gold. And so I'm going to be doing that. Yeah, you need gems for playing sealed, but I don't really play sealed. Uh, question is, what are your top cards to be printed in Modern Horizons? And no idea, honestly. I couldn't name you one card that I'd want to be printed in Modern Horizons. Like, that's not in Modern kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll keep that on top. War of the Spark is released on Magic Arena on April 25th. Ooh, Steel Leaf Champion. We getting stompy up in here. We getting stompy up in here. So let's get this Jade Light being a 4-3 so I can trade with the Steel Leaf. What kind of pump spell they got over there? What kind of pump spell are they going to be playing with Mono Green to make this attack? It's going good. Puggington, yeah, going real good. Why do you have June in mind then? Huh. It's possible. I think probably Corset 2020 likely comes out in June. June or July. Maybe that's that's what you're thinking. The crisis will never die. Yeah, our opponent is good. You know, it's, it was a small crisis that our opponent was having, but our pretty... Like, we're... We're quickly moving up to being a major crisis that our opponent is dealing with here.
They have double plus four plus four. That'd be annoying if they had double and be able to kill us. So unfortunately, so we would have had lethal next turn, but obviously we don't now. Galta? Alright, Galta's a problem. Galta's a problem. Can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. All right. Oh, right, they can't have the plus four, plus four thing. They're tapped out. Never mind, I did not need to block with both Biogenic Uses. Good, I'm glad they did not kill both, both Uses. They're tapped out. Yeah, my blocking decision was with the plus four, plus four in mind. Yeah, that was definitely a good draw for us. But, I mean, we are going to have a crisis anyway that was just going to be obnoxiously large, even if we didn't draw that quasi-duplicate. But we got to have fun with a quasi-duplicate. So, dive down can go... Galta too small. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, options are like Melody, Mystic. Mystic's kind of expensive. It is going to be a good card, though. Vivian's probably not that necessary. What if I play these Mystics and two Melody? Yeah, I guess Dive Down does protect against fight spells, and and it can maybe help my creature stay alive through a plus four, plus four, but I don't think I'm too worried about it. You know, like, how many fight spells do they have in their deck? Like, what, four, maybe? You know, it's just, they have to have their fight spell, plus then I have to have, like, the mana up for the Dive Down and have one of my Dive Downs, and it's just not... Sure, they'll have some removal, I'll Just I'm just going to let them have their removal. <laughs> we want to see, yeah, we could we could possibly take a Galta with a Melody. Uh, we probably need our Incubation Druid out there and Adapted, help us get to that kind of mana. But it's possible. Well, that would be pretty sweet, right? Taking a a real big Galta. Dun dun dun. 
<laughs> 14 mana? Uh, that's a lot, but it's possible. We saw our opponent have Wild Growth Walker as well last game, so presumably they have the Explore creatures also. We didn't see them. No! What are you doing? What is that? What is this? What is this? Yeah, it's just when there's, for example, opt. Yeah, there's the Ixalan opt and the Dominaria opt. Those are the exact same card. They play the exact same way. They were just in different sets. Uh, it was just printed in Ixalan and it was printed in Dominaria, and they have different arts. So you can you can choose which art you like more to be able to put in your deck if you if you have them both. But they work the exact same way. We see here with Llanowar Elf, with their, this being a promo Llanowar Elf and a regular Llanowar Elf, they work the exact same way. They do the exact same stuff. It's uh, just cosmetics there. So that's pretty nice, though, opponent having Beast Whisperer on turn three. This is going to be pretty good for them. I would not be... not be surprised if we lose this. Beast Whisperer can certainly take over. Yeah, they have a lot of mana with having the two land worlds early and everything. This looks pretty good for our opponent. Certainly looks a lot better now, too. I'd be a little more surprised if we win this now. We'll see if Biogenic Goose can do its job. He's big. Yeah, I know the different set doesn't doesn't mean anything either. But yeah, like there is rotation like as long as it's legal as long as the card is in a set that it is legal, then the fact that it can I've rotate out so doesn't, doesn't really I mean won't anything. Lose more. The wilds are my shield. Well, Vivian is now the biggest problem. I, I, th I thought we kind of had these other problems situated, but now Vivian, that's going to ultimate. Aware Eternal, that's a very good point of saying a good reason not to spend all of your excess gems on cosmetics is that if the Arena Modern format does come out that you'll need uh, that they may release you know sets like Amonkhet or you know, Amonkhet block maybe Kaladesh block maybe even farther and if they keep going farther back we'd need more you know you have a lot more sets to buy into I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit before the crisis, which I guess it's next turn. Crisis goes or Vivian goes to seven, so yeah, I have to play crisis next turn for the Vivian. Waiting a turn, I guess, for incubation druid. You're not gonna lose collection at all, no. That that was a one-time thing of them moving from closed beta to open beta. Once it's on open beta, you'll never lose collection ever again. Balance comes. We could go smaller crisis and duplicate here. We're looking at like a 
a 2 2 crisis with duplicate. Which I don't really mind that. I think having all these oozes out that get really big is very important. <laughs> yeah, so what will you do with the cards that rotate out? They'll, st as people are saying in chat, there will be another, there will be a new set that will be added that will. <laughs> Where you will be able to play the card still. K Nub with a Twitch Prime sub. Sub number eight on the day. Let's get some hype for our new subscriber. Thank you so much for that support. And the sub battle countdown is on its way down. We're at 130 now. Still counting down. Whenever that hits zero, we're taking an entire day of just playing against subscribers. So you'll want to be there. There'll be a lot of fun. And if you want to be a part of it, you do need to be a subscriber. And you also get all 22 really cool emotes. So if you're enjoying the stream, consider hitting that sub button as well. Feel the wrath of Scala. All right, so Vivian now not ultimating for a while. Yeah, there exactly. Yes, I think there will be a format where you can play all of the cards on Arena. So I think I wait until next turn. Like I start attacking next turn. I don't think I need to this turn, because like this turn these are five, five, seven, seven, eight, eight. Like that thing's an eleven, thirteen, that's like bigger. We're getting five one counters on all of our stuff this turn. That's a lot. Come to me. That card yeah, that carnage tyrant's like how are those things so big? Hey, what's up, Perry Grip? With a Twitch Prime sub. Keep those hype boats in the chat. Thank you so much, Perry Grip. My opponent does have a really full hand, though. Thanks to Beast Whisperer and Vivian, especially Beast Whisperer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a cute little Carnage Tyrant. All right, so do I start throwing these uses at... Vivian next turn, or do I wait even another turn? I think the plan is to like have my opponent mill out. This is not a May, right? Yeah, it's just they have to draw. Oh, man. Uh, I cannot do this. I'm one mana short of doing this and activating to making a news. I mean, I don't, I don't, like, technically, like, this Wild Growth Walker can eat one of these oozes this next turn. Let's make it so the Wild Growth Walker can't just eat my oozes. Yeah, I like 1919s. That's cool. <laughs> What'd you walk back into? quasi dupla ooze. 
No, we're not playing Zagana. This is the most Biogenic Oozes I've ever had on the battlefield. Six Biogenic Oozes? That is the most. I mean, heck, our opponent can ultimate Vivian and not be able to get through. Meet my newest friend. No, nah, we don't have a Riz River's Rebuke or anything like that. <laughs> Look at that small little Galta. 12-12? Yeah, that's pretty small. We got that covered. We're going to mill them out. They're at 24 cards in library now. They have 15 blockers. We do not have lethal. <laughs> Could you imagine this in paper? Like, all right, so this ooze has six counters on it. This, These two over here have 11. Uh, this one's got 14. Uh, th this one over here has 16. This one has 17. This one has six counters. This has 11. Opponent has all the cards and none of the answers. So they're at 22 in library now. <laughs> like that, Hyena, Hyena says. Admittedly, this is a board state that's easier to deal with digitally. <laughs> I agree. We'll kind of see who gets the first flying creature. Oh, finality. All right, so four, four. So if I if I activate Druid twice, like I'm one mana short of, or so I can activate twice, or I can play Jade Light and have to hit one land to be able to activate tw twice. I think that's kind of worth it. Oh, I should have graveyarded that, so then I could actually just cast it this turn. I was just all excited that that's a card I want to draw. I don't know if I need to, to graveyard that. I like ac activating my ooze twice. No one knows oh, the wilds like I do. I don't even want to attack. This is too cool. Yeah, I, I should graveyard. I should have graveyarded that. Final answer. I think I should have graveyarded that. So then I could have gotten another ooze last turn and activate once with an ooze. I do like having eleven mana though. I do get to activate twice plus quasi duplicate next turn. Oh yeah, we have a climb in here somewhere, don't we? I don't think I sideboarded out climb. I think it's in the deck somewhere. I know, we need more ooze. See, the thing is, is I'm up a game. So even if I end up losing this because I'm not attacking, I don't really mind. I'm, I'm setting a record for ooze on the battlefield, and that's, that's what I'm enjoying right now. I don't really know how we're going to lose, but maybe we lose somehow. You never know. Opponents have 15 cards left. Yeah, I don't even think a Vivian ultimate's gonna really hurt. Tilt. No, my ooze. We need more ooze. We need more ooze. Pretty sure my opponent's milling out. There are 13 cards now in library. <laughs> yeah, they could just play like a sleep or a river's rebuke. They're probably worried about that from us.
Galta and Carnage Tyrant together. You think Galta and Carnage Tyrant are two big creatures. Those two together couldn't even block my oozes. Like, they, the two of them together could trade with my fifth biggest ooze. Not, in, not including the Biogenic Oozes. My smallest Biogenic Ooze. They could just trade with my smallest Biogenic Ooze. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't think, like, does Vivolt even hurt me? I mean, I could attack with the 22-22, the 24-24, and the 25-25. Those would all be reasonable attacks. The problem with attacking, though, is my opponent gets to block with Beast Whisperer, which means they get to play more things before they, before they die. I don't really like them being able to chump with their Beast Whispers, because I think my best win con is just them having these Beast Whispers out and having to draw. I'm going no attack. I mean, I think this is a solid plan for me to mill them out. You can't stop. Like you're saying don't be nature. that guy, but this is this is a, a very good win condition here. Is milling my opponent out. If I attack, they get to block with Beast Whisperer. Like my creatures don't have trample. Now they're down to nine. Every creature they play, they draw two. Down to seven. Down to five. It is it is gonna be annoying that I'm gonna have to block all these creatures. That's like my opponent, you know, ultimates and then starts attacking and I have to like actually go through the whole blocking step. I could time out blocking. Is that a thing? Uh, how many creatures does my opponent have? I don't know. A lot. 5, 10, 15, 22. And I have uh, 5, 10, 15, 22. We both have 22. My opponent having Endrace Forerunners wouldn't help them. Me having it would help me. What? Why didn't they kill a news? They could kill this 8 8 news. So I have five turns of blocking. I don't really want to block for five turns. That's kind of an annoyance.
I guess, I mean, our opponent cannot play any more creatures. We have... We have a lot better battlefield. They can't play any more creatures. You should I just have to block for five turns. Right now. Which is annoying. It doesn't matter that the creatures have trample. Mine are bigger. Yeah, this is not a good battlefield for the frames. <laughs> OBS can't handle all these oozes. We have seven biogenic oozes out there. I keep killing my wild growth walkers and not my biogenic oozes for some reason. Wild growth walkers just don't matter. What'd you just click into? My opponent having a Vivian emblem and like 24 creatures or something like that and still can't even, still not able to do any damage. Alright, I gotta do all this blocking. Oh, come on. Can't there just be an auto block feature? There's got to be a better way to do this. Alright, that's fine. Three. Okay. Alright, we're gonna take a little bit of damage. I don't... Oh, these things aren't blocking? I had more blockers? It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. <laughs> I guess I had three, three oozes, including this 32-32 that wasn't blocking. Who's a get in? Hey, Perry Grief Grip, thank you so much for that resub. There being on the team on streak. And that notification popped up again. I was basically concerned about like the, the rope starting, so I was trying to block very quickly because I was concerned about the rope starting. I'll make sure to block those other ones the next time. So that's why I, I, I did block a lot really quickly. It, it seemed like it seemed like I didn't need to be as worried about that though. And now we're making three more oozes. So we have plenty of oozes to block. They can't play a creature, because they die. Yeah, this is not, not the best for the frames. Sure, 26. We can handle that. All 
Okay. Let's just go left, left to right. All right, that's blocking that. That's blocking that. We have a blocker there. We have a blocker here. Uh, 28 to block 22. Um, 16 there. 22 there. 22 there. Oh gosh, it just keeps rearranging everything. Alright, going to the bottom, leaving land where else for later. Let's get all these ones at the bottom. I have to do this for four turns. And we just win if I if I just fight through this and do this for four turns. All right, I think that's everything. It's really hard to tell, but I think that's everything. I think that's blocked. It rearranges everything. Like, how does that, how does this even make sense of how this looks? It rearranges everything and then everything's crisscrossed. This is crazy. Right? Where is my auto block everything button? Just throw a creature in front of their creature. I don't care which one is which. Alright, so they get zero damage in. We have enough oozes. We have as many oozes as they have creatures. Alright, they're playing a Palaka Worm. That will mill them out. Good. That takes two turns away. Thank you, opponent, for playing a Palaka Worm. Alright, death by mill. Uh, that's the opponent basically conceding, playing a couple more creatures. I am glad we got a pack for that. We we deserve a pack for that one. We got a pack for that one. That was a cool game. All right. Hopefully our pack is a mythic and not a rare, because I have all the rares. Um... IMD Schmuck sent me a clip in there. Dang, that was a rare. We got our 20 gems. <laughs> Ooze is the hidden mill deck. Alright, 2 and 1. That was pretty fun. We don't have... Uh, we don't get to have 45 45 oozes very often. And we did there. <laughs> Biogenic Mill Defender. <laughs> yeah, Vivian probably needs a buff. I know, right? Our opponent Vivian ulted and it just didn't matter. They had like 25 creatures and Vivian ult and couldn't get through any damage. Hey, that's awesome. Key, you got your Harry's Razor in yesterday. You used it this morning. Awesome product. Nice. Yeah, I have a, a really great deal with Harry's. And so, as you can see here, we only need six more people to sign up for getting a Harry's Razor. And we'll be doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate. So, the Harry's Razor, you can get your uh, starter set sent to you, just like Key got here. Uh, razor, shaving cream, $3. That's it. Free shipping, US, Canada, UK. And it's just three bucks. Like you can't you can't really beat that. You can't get things for cheaper than three dollars sent to you for free to your house. So how it works is it's usually thirteen dollars, but if you sign up for their subscription, you get five dollars off automatically for signing up for a subscription. The subscription is cancelable anytime. So you you know, it is cancelable anytime. So that's five dollars off, that makes it eight dollars. Plus use my referral link here and coupon code Todd Stevens MTG and you get another five dollars off of that eight to make it only three bucks as far as i know it's us canada and uk at least for the free shipping i don't maybe they have other places where it's not free shipping 
Plus, if you order, you get a cool notification that pop, you know, sign into your Twitch account when you order. Uh, and you get a cool notification that pops up here on, on stream, and then we all celebrate and get hyped. So there you go. Y'all should definitely take advantage of that. Get a nice razor for just $3 and support the stream as well. So check that out. There's the referral link is down below as well. I just put it in the, in the chat. And if we have six people do that. Um, Spencer says, I seriously got my Harry's order the other day. Super fast, three bucks and a great shave set. Heck yeah. We have six people sign up. We're doing another 12-hour stream to celebrate that one. If the notification doesn't pop up on, on screen here, let me know. Because then I have to manually let them know that we had a referral for that. So if if you order some of the, like any of these uh, products that I have up here and the notification doesn't pop up on screen, that means that it likely didn't register, which it doesn't always. Like, And so I have to tell them that a referral and then... Uh, <laughs> don't get Biogenic Ooze on the Arena Van Watch. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. <laughs> Undies of the Gods. Oh, I bet you, you'll like them. I did find out that MeUndies is... Uh, from asking them, because remember like the other day, we had four people order MeUndies, and then, but none of the notifications popped up, and I found out that... MeUndies actually does not have the notification system set up, and so it's basically like a, a weekly thing that uh, they kind of go through and all the referrals get updated each week. So I still have the order numbers, and then if, if they don't get updated, then I'll let them know. Yeah, it is, it is a little weird that UK, it's UK, but not other European countries. I don't know. They're, and it's German engineering for the Razors. So I don't know why it's not like the German. Maybe I just also have heard wrong about that just kind of in general, though. Maybe they ship more places. <laughs> this is a total lack of ooze. And of course, this this game's looking good for us. Lana Warolf on turn one means we get to be pretty fast. Kind of seems like our opponent may have some kind of connection problem because I think they had a turn two, like their turn two, they didn't do anything, and now they're playing slow here. That they may have a connection issue, some kind of connection issue. Or they could also there we go, there's a news. Let's get it let's get that news. They could also be like cooking also, and they're trying to like chop up their onions and stuff and ran out of time. <laughs> Selective snare against the ooze deck. No. Yeah, that's true. Adanta Vanguard does force you to pra to pass priority all the time. Honestly, Spencer, I that's a good question and I'm not sure. Cuz all of my on like my sites like where I have like the the credits and everything, they're all listed under the Twitch accounts, the Twitch names. I think they can just do none, though. So I hope so. Just just let me know your order number and I'll just and I'll tell them. Yeah, just let me know your order number, Spencer, and I'll tell them. And they've been really good about 
making sure they all count and everything. I'll just let them know that they had, did not have a Twitch account. Hey, Jelly, getting in that Harry's order there. There you go. See, we got that cool little notification that pops up. Thanks, Jelly. You're going to love your shave. Or at least be incredibly satisfied for your $3 purchase. At the very least. What's up, Dutch? Good evening. All right, stepped in the door from work. Nice. Yeah, stream's going good. You just missed a crazy game last game. We had, like, seven Biogenic Oozes in play, and we just milled out a mono green opponent because we just sat back and stared at each other, and they had two uh, Beast Whispers in play that were drawing them cards, and they eventually just drew too many cards, and they couldn't get through. They even had Vivian Ultimate, and they couldn't even get through because I just had so many... Like, they had 25 creatures and a Vivian ultimate and couldn't get through. I think, here, there's a clip right there that IMD Schmuck clipped. That, check that one out. Choke, awesome. You loving your movement watch? That is awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, I've, I've been really liking wearing mine. That, here, my nice blue, blue and brown. So we're playing against... Mono white. Let's get these melodies in. Uh, I don't think we need dive down. I guess dive down is good against tribunal, but oh well. And I'll take out the climb and just kind of go with that. I guess maybe I don't need all these Vivians. I need to trim a Vivian for a dive down. That's reasonable. All right, let's go with that. No, the new set spoilers are not kind of late. <laughs> Just all the Captain Love. There's a. The next set doesn't come out till the end of April, so. Probably next week. Yeah, I think next week is when they'll start, and that that's. That's right. Timmy B with the, is currently on the five month streak. Let's get some hype in the channel for Timmy B. I didn't see any hype boats. There we go. Get some hype boats in there. Thank you so much, Timmy B. You are amazing. Really do appreciate that. Yeah, they're gonna start this weekend at the the Invitational this weekend. Does anybody know what days that is? That Mythic Invitational this weekend? Is it like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Or is it just Saturday and Sunday? Or is it just Tuesday? Hey, Dutch getting that Twitch Prime resub in there. Get some more hype boats for Dutch. This isn't the best hand against an aggro deck. We could get ran over, but it's hard to kind of pass up turn three JR. Thursday through Sunday? Huh. Yeah, negate is that is that's is a good point. Negate does counter a decent amount of cards from their deck. Ooh, it's a black white deck. That's weird. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Love. So yeah, I don't definitely do not mind negate in the matchup. The the problem with negate for the most part is, you know, you have to keep two mana up to try to counter their history. You know, like if this was traditional white weenie. You have to keep your two mana up. Trying to counter those cards like history, conclave tribunal, a Johnny, stuff like that. And this is the, this, well, if, again, speaking as if this was uh, mono white, it would be the kind of matchup where you'd want to be tapping out a lot. And not one where you'd really want to keep up the mana. Vivian looks pretty... Uh, pretty convenient card to have on top of the library here. Uh, Dutch says, month went by quick. Thank you for all your help and keep up the great work. Could not have made platinum without you. Aw, oh, thanks, Dutch. Ow. That mortify hurt. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah. The other option, of course, is just to play the Krasis here. I think, How this thing goes I think this is a is reasonable to time to get the Vivian in play. Draw and fire. So, Jolner, what's going on? So, Thursday, 1st, 8. Friday, 9 to 16. Ha! I've seen worse. Alright, we're going with the ooze and, and having dive down protection. I could certainly use another blue source. I guess the song is a, a little obnoxious with saying I'm coming home over and over. I know I liked this song like whenever I've, you know, heard it to begin with, like the first part of it, but I guess it does end like this, which is a little obnoxious. I remember the last time somebody uh, pointed that out. Do y'all think I should remove this song from the playlist? Yeah, they really do. Yeah, that person does want people to know that he's coming home. So if I use quasi-duplicate, I do not get to keep dive down available. Let's see if we get a blue source here. With Jade Light. Uh, graveyard. Graveyard. Alright, no blue source. I'm just gonna make the ooze. I don't know if I need to be as worried about. Worried about. as worried about Mortify as I am. Ah, seal away. I, I thought they had something, how they were playing. I thought they had something. I was thinking it was like Mortify. That's why I just made news. I mean, the thing is, is we're still going to easily win this with Hydroid Crisis, but that's a little annoying. We don't get to ooze as much. Because the problem is, I kind of felt like if I would duplicate the Biogenic, they could, like, mortify in response kind of thing. So that's why I was just making the ooze. So they wouldn't kill it in response. But... Tap you. Okay, nice, Jelly. Yeah, Postal Service is awesome. That ugh. that whole playlist is great, or that whole album. Sorry, that whole album. Uh, album titled "Give Up" it is a very nice album. All right, I'm just getting this thing out of my hand. We need more oozes. Or more explore creatures. So 
So obviously we thought our matchup was white weenie. I think we're going to be bringing in our crushing canopies. <laughs> I think we'll be bringing that in. So yeah, they get a, a nice kind of endless stream of two twos here. I guess not. Yeah, pretty endless. We got four other creatures in there. Diamond Mare. Hmm. I kind of don't have anything to do. Ooh, I am glad my opponent's blocking. I think they would wait a turn and have... Oh, not you. Of course, playing the land where elves, they just die, right? Because of the Ethereal Absolution. So playing the land where elves don't make a lot of sense. But they have that 2-2, and they get to... They could, like, make another one the next turn. Ah, never mind. They drew the 8th land, so they get double 2-2s anyway. That's just I've been using a black-white popper deck and been running about 50% win rate in Platinum. It's great for the memes when I win with all of commons. Nice. There you go. All right, so wait. Shall I... What'd they do with the rest of their mana? Oh, they oh they memorialed back Shalai. Right, okay. Mm. Dilt. Love it. We found it. We found the ooze. Found the ooze. Now opponent's gonna lose. Ugh. Don't you kill my ooze. Don't you do it. I need to untap and so I can have these quasi duplicates because I don't I don't have enough mana right now. Don't you kill my ooze. I see you over there, looking at your removal spell, kill a crisis. Ah, you're right, Dirk, I forgot the word off in that auto plug. Don't do it. Don't kill it. Hooray! And of course I have the land where elves that just get to discard. Of course it would have been better with a another blue mana, so we could have cast another one of these, but we only had the didn't have enough blue mana. Deleted that plug. Added new plug. Cool. Attack. Oh, wait, they did. They had a removal spell? Did they just use it on a Krasis? Wait, did they just kill a Krasis? That's cool. Donation, donate sixty-five dollars. Thanks for your content. Wow, Drewski Brew, that is so kind, so so kind. Thank you. I don't even know what else to say. Thank you so much. 
Get a whole lot of hype in the chat. Thanks everybody else for getting that hype in the chat as well. Thanks, Drewski. Then we also have Zinedine with the Twitch Prime sub as well. Let's keep this sub battle countdown going further down. We're at 126 now. All right, here we go. Block. So we're at 27. They're still attacking. I think we can start attacking next turn, right? They're at eight. We could probably attack next turn. Ooh, nice. They got me with that fungal infection. They 100% have settled the wreckage. All right, how do I attack against settle? These four? Do I just do three? Two oozes at a time? Pretty sure we can do three at least. I'm pretty sure we can do four. I think we can get all four settled. I need more mana, especially blue mana. I guess maybe I should getting some more green because I like activating ooze. Zinedine's been back for 22 months. Do they have another settle? That'd be annoying. Wait, I just played a land here. I did not need to play that land. Now I can't double duplicate. But I guess we do get to activate ooze twice. Ooh, another ooze. Take a sweet. All right, so do they have another settle or not? <laughs> they do not have another settle. All right. Victory. Victory oozes. And our oozes are three and one. We have been really oozing so, so well today. We have been getting our, our oozes in there.
cruising for an oozing. <laughs> Surpassing the ooze quota again. That is that is like the goal of our deck. To ooze a lot. <laughs> yeah. Got that Nickelodeon slime sponsorship. <laughs> Do we have anybody watch that this weekend? I did not. I was streaming at the time. How would you recommend building a collection with the least amount of money? So, it kind of depends. The biggest thing it depends on is if uh, is if you are if you if you've been playing Magic for a little while, if you like limited, if you're good at limited kind of stuff. If so, I'd recommend saving your gold that you get each and every day for do I want to throw a jade light out here or do I want to try to wait for one more land and be able to double spell with jade lights sorry save your gold for the draft for drafting and it's worth spending the 5,000 gold on the drafts in my opinion instead of just opening up five packs how you get between 1250 and 1500 gold a day. I guess I need two more lands before I can dub to Jade Light, don't I? Doing that before attackers, because if I if I just go to attackers first, my opponent can have Trickster and be able to have the Trickster and Storm Tamer block the Wild Growth Walker. If the answer is no on the whole limited part though, then there's nothing really better than you know earning your gold each and every day and then buying the packs with the gold. Uh, it's just, you know, those are like basically your two options. Good, J nice, Jason. Jason says I finally got better at limited to where when I draft, I usually get a decent return on it. That's the other thing, like, practicing draft more is also good. Uh, it's it's a really good way to get better at magic also. Being better at limited is, is you know, it, you'll certainly take, if you're a new player to limited, you're going to be taking your lumps um, with it, but it's definitely a good way to get better at magic. Essence Capture is also a May. Like, you don't have to put a, a counter on the Terramander with Essence Capture. So, like, so the question was, like, why why didn't I force them to put the counter on the Terramander earlier? I, I do think that I should have probably played it. But it is a May.
I can't block Surge Mare. So I'm supposed to quasi duplicate the Wild Growth Walker? I don't think so. Definitely looking for another Krasis. Should probably be attacking with Branch Walker too. And the Branch Walker would just get blocked with a Surge Mare. Dang. So they cannot adapt to the Terramander. I was hoping to get a land there so I could buy Genicus here as well. Alright, they're down to 15. And then also thinking about it here, it's a good chance my opponent could, like, if they're not having, like, other stuff, like, they could definitely have Spell Pierce in hand. Could be a card that they're just sitting over there with. And so casting the Quasi Duplicate right then into the spell pierce doesn't make the most sense this is of monsters and men mountain sound Did have spell pierce. Blue source is perfect. And this is looking real good for us. Wild Growth Walker with eight counters on it. Dude, right? I yeah. How nuts would quasi duplicate be if it could hit the opponent's creatures too? Oh man, it'd be so nuts. Just be like, oh, Sphinx of Foresight? Yeah, I'll take one of those. I'll copy that.
How did you not just block with your 0-5 on a 4-3? Come on, opponent. Could just you could be at 11 right now. Like, our opponent's not even attacking for lethal there. Oh, I guess I... No, I guess maybe they were. Yeah, I guess they were. Alright, so we bring in, like, our whole sideboard. Except for Frilled Mystic. So, sorry, quasi duple Ooze. This is not your matchup. And then we got all these... Oh, you do, Mike? All right, I'm I'm in. I'm listening. <laughs> Night Owl says, Quasi Duplicate should read, One you, you, sorcery, you win the game. That sounds like a blue card to me. <laughs> Yeah, I can find the blink deck for you. It's on the stream decker, but you may not be able to get to it uh, if you're on like I don't know, like mobile or whatever. So here we go. Um, Esper blink right here. There you go. <laughs> no, Lord, I have water here. Like my like the like the juice bottles that I really like and just clean them out and everything and then fill them up with water, put them in the fridge of nice cold water. You play some quasi mystics? That's that's a good one. Get all dim mystics. Yeah, murmuring mystic with a bunch of quasi duplicates is definitely another fun one. If you were a curious opponent, I am not obsessed with you having that card. Alright, Diligent Excavator. I have no idea what that card is. <laughs> no idea what that card is. Chamber Sentry. I have a little bit of understanding what that card is. Liliana. I assume that's Liliana of the... Or, like, the four-mana one. And Arcane Adaptation. Alright, yeah, you're gonna have to send me a list, Mike. I don't even know what those cards are doing. Diligent Excavator, 1U, Creature, Human Artificer, 1-3, whenever you cast a Historic Spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Ah, so it's an Infinite Mill combo. Now this is, this is glass, I must feed, this is a glass bottle. Anyway, uh, Dutch says, I really can't thank you and the community enough for helping me with learning Arena. I really meant that. I did not sub to anyone as I think it's a waste of money. You've proven me wrong. Again, thanks to you and everyone in the community. You are all great folks. You're, you're definitely, you're a part of that, Dutch. You are definitely a part of that community, too. You are a great folk as well. And, yeah, so thank, thank you very much. Yeah, we have three Harpooners in the sideboard.
We got... Oh, we brought in a lot of cards in this matchup here. So you're currently 3-1 after just throwing a list, a list together, Mike. Nice. So yeah, that could be that could be a another janky one that we have here soon. We'll see. So yeah, I have three harpooners, I have three crushing canopies. My best draw though, because you know, they probably have counter magic for like anything like that. My best draw is probably just Hydroid Crisis. You know, they'll gain me life and draw me cards, even if they have a counter spell. And if not, it gets to block kind of thing. I also have three Entrancing Melodies. Those are pretty good. No, I haven't really considered Dream Eater of the deck. So they had another Trickster, so even if I would have played a Jade Light, they could have Trickster the Wild Growth Walker. But at least the Trickster is out of their hand. Again, Krasis is still our best draw. We get to gain even more life and everything now. With it. Never mind, I probably had lethal. Could certainly play Dive Down to stop Trickster. That could be a thing. They have like Entrancing Melody and stuff too. I'm gonna play that over over that one Vivian Reed that I don't really love. I'm gonna play a Dive Down. Yeah, they had the turn one obsession and got me there. I like our chance here on the play with all of our sideboard card. That's the other thing, we didn't see a single sideboard card either. So, I like our chance now. Next turn I'm gonna go Incubation Druid, Simic Guild Gate. Definitely want all the mana possible. If they're going Curious Obsession this turn, I'll be able to go Krasis. But Krasis is only a 3 3. Hmm. Kind of want it bigger than a 3 3 Krasis. Should I just Incubation Druid? Is it better to adapt or resolve Jade Light plus Branch Walker? Probably better to resolve these cards. All right, drew some lands.
Wow. That's an unblockable surge mare there. We could draw we could draw entrancing melody here. Entrancing melody would be so good. It's just a win. Ugh. We did not draw entrancing melody. Would it just would have just been a win though. Tilt. Ugh. Uh, what do you want? Do you want the song or the playlist? You can either do exclamation point song or exclamation point playlist. Those are the those are the two commands. Depending on which one you want. Um Yeah, this is Blur, it could be you. I need to draw another three cards. Hey, Nitty. So they almost certainly have a counter spell. Basically, is it better to play a huge crisis that gets countered or attack with Druid, Jade Light, Branch Walker? Attack with all three. Hell, all four. And play Jade Light and attack with all four. I don't think I attack with all four. We draw two less cards and gain two less life, but we got to attack with the druid and the and the Lanor elf.
And I guess if we do find a wild growth walker, we can play that with the jade light. So if I would have used incubation druid land or elf, we would have done a little bit more, but I think it's certainly getting countered, right? So I, I like getting that other attack in with those, putting more pressure on them. They blocked the Terramander. Hey, track team. Day's been going pretty good. Haven't had necessarily the best records, but it's been a really fun stream. And everybody's been really cool in chat and everything. It's, it's been a good day. How's your day been? If we draw Entrancing Melody, we can get our opponent. We can get the Surge Mare if we draw Entrancing Melody. Hmm. So I know Krasis will resolve, but they could have Entrancing Melody for the Krasis. I could just go Wild Growth plus Jade Light plus Hold Up Negate slash Dive Down. How big is this crisis going to be? So if I if I save three mana for Negate Dive Down, we can do three, six, seven, eight. We can do a six, six crisis. Donna's climb is interesting. Why is it like timing me out? I like have not been taking very long on this turn at all. I definitely do not want an entrancing melody stealing my day. Which, if I play Climb, that's the problem with playing Climb, is Entrancing Melody. They tap out for this. They negate this. I negate back. And that's game. That's game. That's a win. They're tapped out. We're just going to hit Honest Climb, our big Krasis. It'll be too big for the opponent. And they're dead. All right, quasi dupla ooze about to f face this final boss here in a little bit. I don't think my opponent has a land drop. I think they already played their land. I guess they could technically have a land drop. But what are they doing with a land drop? A spell pierce? We can pay for spell pierce, so we're good there. So did that perfectly. Needed the dive down and Need to dive down and negate there. And 14-14, Krasis. Boom. All right, Julia Michaels. We're going to start getting ready. Gotta get ready for their final boss playlist here. Come on, opponent. Yes, you're dead. All right. Time to fight further.
I I looked at the Kuja fun the uh, it's not on Spotify. Kuja's boss fight song. Love it. Love all these final boss emotes in the chat. Here we go. Gotta get this fifth win here. <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have the, I basically have like the audio routed, I have like different audio channels, and so I have an audio channel with just my voice here and not with the music uh, being saved. So that's why there's no music in, in YouTube. Like basically YouTube doesn't allow music. And... So I have an audio file with with basically the the music. I guess the the easy way to say is the music is only sent to OBS here. It's not sent to the the thing I'm recording. It's only sent to the stream. Yeah, Meundies is a new one. They have awesome underwear and basics company. You get 15% off with my link there to Meundies. I've already had three or seven people order. We're only three away from a 12-hour stream with Meundies. A USB mic. Uh, my my mic plugs into a USB port. Is that a USB mic? Island Island. I don't know what our opponent's up to, but it's no good. It's no good. Whatever our opponent's up to. It's just a bunch of no good. That's what I was thinking they were up to. Bunch of no good. So likely counter spell here. So we're gonna go with Jade Light. I guess the the better part about Branch Walker though is I can, I guess Branch Walker is easier to block. Cause if I block, if I block here and then try to dive down my creature, but then they counter the dive down, then my creature is gone. But if I if I go Branch Walker, then after they attack. I can just dive down my druid. See, I should have gone branch walker. Yeah, I should have gone branch walker. I I don't know my PC specs. Crisis is only a 3-3 three, three at best. I mean, I guess I don't really have anything better besides block, adapt. I think that's my best thing. So I'm going to want this mana. Okay. It's still a 5-4. I can only make a 4-4 crisis right now.
But at least 4 4 Crisis does resolve. I have Dag down for it. This 5 4 is going to be tough. They go for the high upside play of double blocking with the two oozes, and they put this ooze first, and then I dive down it. Well, they have a counter spell here. I'm just dead. I should have played that guild gate. Night Owl with a cheer for a donation deck. Any day. Late in the stream, still a work in progress. Awesome. Thanks for the love, Night Owl. So. Either I go 5-5 five, five Crisis and can have Dive Down, or I go 6-6 six, six Crisis and no Dive Down. I think I go 6-6 six, because six, it's going to be tough anyway. And getting that extra card could certainly be important. Ah, uh, needed 5-5 five, five with Dive Down. That was their third trickster, though. Ugh. All right, well, at least this is what our sideboard's for. Bring in everything. And there we go. Got this sideboarding down pat. Yeah, so it's Jeskai Wizards, huh? Oh, we don't have, like, the wizard... We don't have the mythic wizard? Oh, no, Nabon is the one that, that makes a trigger another time. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, so we can have, dep we can have double deputy of detentions. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Just guy wizards. I'm thinking Jade Light Ranger here on turn two, since since we don't have blue mana. Uh, looking for blue mana. Hmm. Now we have blue mana. Do I still want to go Jade Light, or do I want to go with this Druid? Yeah, let's go Jade Light still. I'll put pressure on the opponent. Thank you. 
They haven't drawn any removal, so they would just like slam a Tempest Gen. Let's just cycle. Land is good, so we got Divination. Crisis now. I could have cast both of those pre-combat and got them countered and gotten an extra, extra couple points of damage in. This is looking pretty good for us right now. I should probably take this song off the final boss playlist and just play this only like whenever we win. I think we're gonna do that. Stole the crisis. This is a Chrono Trigger. I could put Eye of the Tiger on the playlist. Could certainly do that. So I didn't have Dive Down up there because even another Entrancing Melody uh, didn't really matter. I mean, I guess they take my 4-3. I guess it was would have been... Yeah, I guess it certainly would have been an annoyance. Ooh, Danger Zone. Zone. Kuja thing is, is not on Spotify. I can't add it. It's not on Spotify. I looked. At least I didn't find it. Two steps from hell. I don't know that. I don't know that one. How much longer am I playing today? About about two hours. You know, a little less. We got we got that other. We got one more deck here. With Esper Blink that we're gonna be playing. Hmm. Blue mana. We need blue mana, but we also have a crushing canopy. And there goes that melody. Alright, 
course, going with the Jade Light here. Definitely like that we get to resolve it. Look for lands. That's a land. That's a good land. And... The problem with Jade Light is we don't get to double spell with it, but I think it's a good enough card to keep, I think. Surge Mare is definitely annoying. It's just going to be a 2-2 crisis. I do you like how keeping this makes the Jade Light a 4-3? It's a tough call. I'm going to keep it. The only good part about putting it in the graveyard is the turn the, the Harpooner would be able to kill... A Tempest Gen. Ooh, love it. Love it. We get to resolve Hedonis Climb. I was worried about even playing it the last turn because of Spell Pierce. Oh, wait. I guess they haven't played a land yet, have they? So they could still have land Spell Pierce. Do I want to play? Do I want to cast Harpooner right now as just a 3 2 to put even more pressure on the battlefield? So let's see. Right now, this is 8. If I play it as a 3 2, we could have. We could have lethal next turn. Yeah. So it'd be nice if we draw a land here where we can like canopy plus harpooner like a potential like tempest gen for example we also of course have the winged temple that gets to activate as well Hey, what's up, Haran? All right, cool, Noxie. I got it. I got it saved. Thank you. I mean, I don't need to, like, try for too much this turn. It's a likely trickster from our opponent. Like, I don't need to, like, necessarily try to kill my opponent this turn. With them having like this open man and everything, like we are, we are doing just fine. Like the ball's in our court, kind of thing. Like they're gonna need to to tap out to be able to deal with this stuff. Or 
or they play a flyer for a blocker here. We get to canopy on their turn, make them spend mana on their turn, untap, have the harpooner and stuff. Not destroy target on jam, man. <laughs> hey, all good, Noxie. I wouldn't say the opponent punted. I wouldn't say that. Probably just didn't have options. And Noxie bringing this down to 125. And we pick up our fifth win. Quasi Dupla Ooze, getting it done. Yeah, this deck's just a lot of fun. You can see there, after sideboarding, we have so much stuff in against Mono Blue. It is so good. Big Show with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Big Show. All right, so that, let's keep the sub battle countdown going down even farther. So, oh yeah, 5-1. All right, so there we go. Yeah, the Simic decks are surprisingly strong, and they're they're surprisingly fun to play too. You know, I have like three or four different Simic decks that I've just been really enjoying recently. Just like these uh, early creatures get a lot of mana, play Hydroid Crisis because that card's awesome, and then you know you just have some other stuff in the middle. Whether you're going Biogenic Ooze and Quasi Duplicate like we're doing with this deck, or we're going like Frilled Mystic, and I guess Biogenic Ooze like we're doing with, like Simic Adapt. So yeah, Quasi Ooze coming through again. You know, we didn't even see like Entrancing Melodies. Like, you know, imagine us taking our opponent's Surge Mare with an Entrancing Melody. Would have been nice, but... It's not just the power of Krasis, but Krasis is, is obviously a, a very, very big part of it. You know, it's like, you know, it's one of the best cards of the deck. But it's also kind of the power of Land War Elf and the Explore Creatures. And, you know, just everything's good. You know, everything's pretty good. And you know, we had some really good games with Biogenic Ooze, of course, that game against Mono Green that we had with Biogenic Ooze, that one, that's a, that was a historic game that we had earlier, our game three, where we had seven Biogenic Oozes in play, we had a, what, 45-45 Ooze, and a, you know, a bunch, you know, just a ton of 30s, and, you know, we had like 25 I think total oozes in play, something like that, between our all of our ooze, ooze tokens and biogenic oozes. And our opponent, Vivian Ultimated, couldn't even get through. They had, you know, 20-something 20, 20 creatures, and we had an ooze for every single one that was bigger than theirs, so they couldn't even get any damage through, even though they had Vivian Ult. And they just milled out. <laughs> they just drew all the cards of their deck. They couldn't get through my oozes. It was awesome. So, yeah, fun deck for sure. Um, and I even like the Simic Guild Gate. I think it's been, uh, you know, just fine. I've liked the Simic Guild Gate. So, yeah, we'll be playing this one again soon. It's definitely a fun deck to play. All right, so if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you.